Today is Tuesday, July the 5th. Happy late 4th of July, everybody. I had planned on making a video yesterday about the new moon and cancer and working with uh, the cancer energies through the tarot card, the chariot, and a lot of stuff plans, but um, I just didn't get around to doing it. I was really tired yesterday and I just kind of wanted to rest and take it easy. So that's exactly what I did. But I do have a lot that I wanna to do today. I'm feeling still very into the new moon energies. I have a lot of space clearing that I wanna do. I really wanna clean up our room and um, kinda of cleanse it and get it feeling really good again. It's way too hot. It's just way too fucking hot. This is why I can't wear any fucking makeup. Look so guys, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. some meditating and I gave an offering to my patron deity I guess you would say. I decided that I need to have kind of a quiet day, kind of a contemplative day. So if I seem very relaxed uh, that is why. I know that these videos are a lot different than uh, what I was doing before but I really felt like it was time to be a little bit more authentic with you guys because as much as I really enjoy my um, more rehearsed kind of videos where I speak about things and I'm able to like really articulate a topic that I want to talk to you about, I think that there's also something, something to be taken from these more kind of raw authentic videos. And so I wanted to start kind of doing more of those for you guys. And you know, I really like Day in the Lives anyways. And so I've been having a lot of fun doing that, which I've expressed. So I was focusing on um, the Chariot card. Keep in mind that this is more of an intuitive type of interpretation and how it's affecting my life right now. And not really a by the book kind of discussion that we're about to have. I have been really introspective this weekend and I've also taken a little bit of time to actually step outside of my comfort zone and kind of um, face some of my own like personal anxieties which a lot of are just like social anxiety. I have, I have a weird uh, social anxiety. And I also have, you know, I guess just kind of generalized anxiety disorder. But I actually, this weekend, I felt like being kind of social. We had um, some friends that we went and uh, uh, celebrated the 4th with on Sunday. And that was so much fun. And it, w it was actually like their family celebration and we just kind of crashed it. We just invited ourselves over there. But we had a really nice time and we ended up having a really good talk with one of our good friends, uh, my husband and I. We rode motorcycles that day. And that's kind of new when I was having a more high anxiety kind of day. Because most of the time I'm fine whenever we're riding the bike. But sometimes if my anxiety is worse, then I have a lot harder time uh, enjoying myself and I just sit there and think about how dangerous and stupid it is what we're doing and it is it is absolutely dangerous which I mean we're very extremely cautious and safe but it was a really nice opportunity to try and kind of let go of some of that in the moment and just you know kind of relax and be able to experience 
what was happening in the moment instead of ex experiencing just the anxiety that I was feeling. You know, in that instance, it was a feeling of, you know, freedom and release. And I think it's something that I really needed. And that, we did that before we went to the party. And so it kind of um, opened up that doorway to allow me to, you know, walk through and be able to have a good time, even if I'm uh, struggling with my anxiety at the time. And I think that um, that really kind of ties into um, the cancer energy that's happening as well as the, um, the, the chariot energy that's happening. Because if you've ever kind of meditated with this card before, it gave me a lot of different emotions. One of the main things that kind of called out to me is the fact that the, the person driving the chariot, like they're already outside of the city, you know, pointing away from it with their backs turned to the city. They've already crossed uh, what looks like uh, a river, uh, you know, there's some water behind them and, you know, they're on their way. They've already started the journey and they've already, you know, kind of overcame that part where you have to take the first step. You know, they've already taken the first step and now they're ready to really go and explore. It really made me think about how important it is to kind of step outside of ourselves sometimes to step outside of your comfort zone because really there's no not a whole lot of room for um, growth and new experience if you just do the same thing every day. You know, sometimes we really do just have to kind of, you know, leave the city, leave, you know, leave our bedroom, leave our house and get out there and have new experiences because you might really be missing some opportunity, you know, that's out there for you or some you know, just experience that's out there because, I mean, you learn so much from exploring the world, you know, even if it's, you know, still within your town. I'm not saying you have to take a vacation and road trip somewhere, but I mean, just stepping out your own door, you know, stepping outside that little space that you've created for yourself, you know, that's what's important. Even if it is more of a uh, metaphorical kind of way, you know, maybe it's more of a, you know, have a conversation with somebody that you wouldn't normally have with that person kind of way. You know, maybe ask somebody something and explore new things with just a person that you know. Or maybe even explore new things with yourself, you know. Sometimes we don't take the time to explore why it is we're feeling certain ways. I've had to learn how to, you know, actually let myself like feel and process emotions whenever they're happening instead of just trying to ooh, push them away because I don't, I personally don't like to have the feels, like I don't like it, I don't like feeling emotional, like whenever you get that kind of gurgling like in the pit of your stomach and you're like, oh god, this is, this is making me feel something, you know, I don't really like that feeling, I don't know why. And that's something I've been working on for several months now is allowing that emotion to kind of bubble and allowing myself to feel it, you know, even if it does, you know, make me cry or something like that, which I hate. I don't like to cry either. I really, I really felt all of those emotions and that introspection with this new moon and how this new moon especially is an opportunity to take a, the, take a look at the things that I like in my life and take a look at the things that I want to change and really start venturing out, you know, outside of my comfort zone and exploring new ways that I can experience the world and, you know, gain more knowledge and gain more wisdom about those are who are around me, about myself. And I think that this card, as much as it is, you know, an actual like literal exploration of your environment, I think it's more so an exploration of yourself. That's pretty much my meditation and uh, what I got from working with uh, the Chariot card and the New Moon and Cancer this uh, past few days. So I do have something pretty fun to show you guys. Look at this amazing shit right here. Do you see this? This is my bullshit stick. Listen. So this idea came to me 
from the show Orange is the New Black. And I don't know, so this is kind of a pop culture kind of thing. I don't know if you guys know about the show or if you like it, whatever. Anyways, there's a character on there. Her name was, uh, her name is Lolly. Her character on the show had some, like, you know, mental health issues. She would hear voices and stuff like that. Whenever she was having trouble dealing with the voices, like if they became overwhelming, she had this little stick that had a bunch of bells and stuff on it. And she would shake it all around her head to kind of get rid of the voices that she was hearing. I was like, you know what, that's a wonderful idea. And I think it really ties into the whole uh, like witchy, you know, space clearing thing. I wanted to create my own that I could use for clearing away just bullshit, like bad energy, and I could use it on a physical uh, space, or I could use it on myself if I was feeling really down. And I just kind of strapped all this to the stick and made this amazing fucking thing that you can make too. Yeah. I really love it and it lives next to my altar now. These are the stones that I'm working with uh, for the month of July. There's a poop dog. This is a blue aragonite or aragonite and so this is just a polished piece of it or a tumbled piece I guess you would say. This stone, like never, I've never felt as much energy from a stone before as I have this uh, the stone I'm holding in my hand. Blue aragonite is a really good stone for um, healing your inner child. It's a good stone for dealing with healing of old wounds. It's wonderful for, for helping you empathize with others. It works with the heart, throat, and third eye chakras. It also, it's a really good stone for communication and opening communications. Uh, with other people as well as with like the realm of spirit so this is just an amazing stone uh, to have and I think it's really one of my favorite stones I've ever purchased and it just has so much really amazing energy